three down below the alarm bell to only him keeping him back as Leaf is doing his best to hold the line and they're not gonna see him. He's gonna spot both and he's gonna clean him up. What a start for Leaf. Meanwhile, the yeah. rest of G2 is taking A. Exactly, the spike's already planted. Lev is a little worse for wear. Gets tagged up by a classic, but this post plant's gonna be so deadly. I mean, this is a, a dreadful start for Lev. It couldn't have gone any worse. You think about trying to create a little bit of chaos at the beginning of the round to catch your opposition off guard, if you will. Mm -hmm. this, this is not what they imagined. It's not how they drew it up. And now Jonah P swinging out, not able to clean it up. A Valent dropped from the top rope. G2. It's because the supporting crew doesn't deliver. And so you try to shut down Asplast as best as you can, but finding value elsewhere is really where things turn around. Tex really struggled the last time they played. He's had a quiet start to this game. Oh, Valen. Turns at the wrong moment. What a timing there. Tasfas getting another numbers away of the defense. As I see in Trent are the only two that remain. Yeah, they managed to get the spike down, but Trent's in such a brutal spot. Standing. And he's got a Spectre in a 1v4. Oh, he gets oh, spotted. He got spotted. Yeah, surely he was seen. He's able to clean up the first. The Cove will keep the collateral away. Let's have to draw some utility. Realizing everyone around him. Tom's going to... Hang on to the defuse. He's probably sitting the whole way. There's nothing really to stop him. If you swing out, you're facing all three. He will drop one. That's another rifle down. Only two carried over for left. These two teams have the best gun round win rate. This is where the series will be decided. Leaf lighting up the kill yeah. feed already. Back to back entries from Leaf. Another one. The head to head IGL v IGL. Balan, he comes out on top. That's where the mind games will play themselves out as Leaf is getting another. Dude. This, this, I mean, this is insane form for Leaf this early in the series. Yeah, it's something he struggled with the last time they played Icebox as well. He's known for being that duelist type figure on this map. When he gets heated up, I mean, it's, it's so difficult to play against. Because from the side of G2, they've been running this no duelist comp all year long. He really has been that guy that gets a lot of the first bloods. He's been so consistent. And then you put him on defense, Spike and we planted. think about all the clips mm -hmm. he's hit with, like the Outlaw, for example, posted up back A. How do you break through this post plant defense? You can wrap around yellow, but the uh, Viper's been so strong. That's what they're trying to do. You've got Trent, who's playing in Cubby, to hold them back. And then you've got Leaf, who's in the fray as well. One enemy There's remaining. no way in for Lev. No, an absolute firing squad met as soon as that harbor wall goes down. They, they. There are three here. Tex has his ult. King has his ult. Well, Tex doesn't have it anymore. <laughs> or he's not going to be using it this round anyway. Yeah, he's playing so aggressive in backside. That's back to back rounds. He's done that. I love this cascade. Oh, the freebie as well. We'll take that any day. Calm. He answers back, though. And the money for Lev is not great. I don't think they can really, unless it's a lot of kills out from Calm and from King, Aspas has to be careful. An investment of the op being lost here is so dreadful. Jonah P in a 1v3. King 12 HP. That's the first one. That's the weak one. But Com's three kills on the round gets Lev their second. And a much Whoa. faster pace. Aspas with the miss. Has to dash out. The reckoning dropped as well. A litany of ultimates invested. Trent will be the first to fall. I see swinging a little bit further. He probably should have. But they've got, managed to get the spike down now. Tex has a really big ult that he can try to flush the side out with. Mm -hmm. And he should do just that, especially when this drone gets so much info. If he has to take a step back, caught by it. They don't really need to invest the lockdown anymore. It's just Jonah P left on the site. And with too many angles to clear, too many things to consider. Tom's in a really good spot here. Still has a lot of utility to play around, but position concealed. I don't think they saw him, they didn't see him! Only one found though! You've dealt with Calm, you still have to take care of Mazzino, and now Reckoning invested. They're scattering. Reckoning and Lockdown for Tombo. G2, they have to leave all of A-Site, work something else on the map. That turret's still up, though, in mid. Well, the thing is, though, you've got so much time left in the round, you have to have Presence A to ensure that they're not just re-clearing, and they're not hitting it again. That's why you see them push so far up past 410. Yeah, good proactivity. This is something that Vietan does quite often as well. Even when they're up numbers, they'll do this. You but imagine Jonah P's waiting yeah. for his orb to come back up so they can clear mid, not have to worry about the turret, but the timing is way too fishy. Asmus not able to settle a shot. A great response out from Trent. 
because they've got to understand the jig is up. Leaf with the op in a position like this. This is dangerous. That's done. Dropping Mazzino, the pit planted. And now a 2v2. Leaf's oh. making that thing sing, man. Is this chamber meta again? He still has one more to deal with. A oh. big investment of the pit out from clear everything out to make sure there's no funny business behind him. But now the reckoning. Wisps lighting up the sky oh. as they drop the... It's a beautiful combo, man. There's nowhere to go, and even if Icy gets a little bit of damage, he gets a little bit of info, he can buy his time. They've left Ospas in a 1v4. A tap of the spike is just a threat, surely. There's way too much to confirm that that's all it is. A second tap now. Trent will fall. 70 HP. As the clock ticks away, he's going to get his damage dealt, but G2 will get to 8. On the other end, Leviathan don't even know that they saw anything like that. Yeah, the problem is this spike has been planted for a little while. Clock has been taking comp swings a little bit too far ahead. And again, into the face of the firing squad! But Tex shows he can shoot back. Leaves so weak. Tex is going to have to do it on his own. 1v2, and they're both so fragile. Made of porcelain. Can he deliver the shots? Four bullets left, two targets to be found. One left. Can he spot the beanie? Yes, he can! Tex hits all four. His left gets a five. They don't need to move. That would have been their cue, but Leaf might get timing here. Mazzino. He's gone exploring. Finds Leaf as he tried to exit, and now they've inserted Aspas on the other side. This double, triple pump fake seems to be working out for Lev. Uh huh? The B players were just human drones at that point, and now Aspas, he turns into a lurk. He's gonna be met by Jonah P, and he deletes him. It's just such good timing out from Lev right now. This round has been gorgeous to watch. Yeah, you wanna talk about running circles. That, that was a circle right there. And Aspas, he's not slowing down right now. Tries to land the shots onto Icy. Not able to best him, but the damage has been dealt. Icy's finding a little bit of value at the end. A parting gift. Two found, a third there. Good shock dart chip damage as well from Shen. Again, Harbor's utility goes up. And this time, they're done playing games. They're fully committing out onto the hit. Remember, they didn't have much of a buy on the side of G2, and that rifle is still in play. They burn the clock down so low, but is it going to be enough? I see now as a thrash online, does he drop a weapon and try to invest it? No, he's just sticking it out. He's got to be careful here. There's so much danger, but very nicely handled with the ult. The thrifty round win for G2. Now the reckoning at the ready. Off of the tap, he fully commits to it. Icy's gonna dump all of his utilities. They try to fight back sight. The flood in full effect. But Levitan or the dam! Four found! G2 keep kept back. Trent left in a 1v3. On the swing is Mazzino. Make that three. As Lev gets to eight. Oh. Um, so consistent with that ult, man, and he hits it again. And he hits Trent, who had a Hunter's Fury of his own. And so, so now, yeah, so now the lockdown, it gets so much value. It's so, it's such a deep lockdown as well. Everyone has to play so far back. No real chance of a flood. They flush out the side, and Asma fills in on the space behind it. Now they have a reckoning of their own that will only continue to cause chaos. Into the situation. Aspas with a little bit of friendly fire will finally go down as Tex fills in behind it. He numbers away the attack of Goop in his face, and Tex cannot Player settle standing. shots. Icy's been really good. He's going to have to 1v2 to win this round, though. Mazzino weak. Comms on the flank. As is typical for him, but he yeah. doesn't even get in on the act. I wonder if there was a... No, there couldn't have been a tap on the third. Tex is playing his position so nicely. He just quietly lures him in. Yeah, he should ask for the orb to be up, but it doesn't matter anyway. Second shot missed out from Jonah P. That op hasn't found very much value. Meanwhile, comp's position once again gorgeous. Leviathan really pushing the matter here as G2 are starting to crumble. Where's the response? What's the spark? I don't think there's one this round. He's got to try to save the op, but... He's hunted. I mean, he's surrounded. And yeah, they're trying to find him. That's a nice shot. Still two waiting on the other side. Can he try to hang on to this? White knuckling his way to keeping the op in hand and it will slip from his grasp. Do they invest their ults? G2 at five, they have everything they could want. Jonah P falls, and you imagine that decision is only getting harder with every passing moment. The kill feed heavily going the way of Lev. 
but it's turned. Still, there's no way they get away with this. There's no way they do it again. The spike's in heaven. There's no way King can get to it. Oh. But there, there are so many things. You're going to get faced into two as soon as you swing through this door. What can King do? He can isolate 1v1. They're both so weak. You've got to be careful playing this on the knife's edge. Can wow. King stabilize? One big step done. They've invested one of the ults, but it's a bait. King's repositioning, 13 seconds left. Does he take the fight or does he go for the plant? Waits out the ult and now yet. committing. First bit of utility through and it's not gonna tag him. He's gotta know that he's there, but he's so weak. Another thrifty the way of G2. Tucked across the middle of the map. This is really deep. I don't know that they're expecting this. Trent gets caught asleep at the wheel. And now everything starts to come through. They don't know there's a second one. And Tex is on the punish. Oh, what a mess. Numbers the way of the attack. The spike will get planted. Now the reckoning out from Valen. If they try to flood behind this, it would what? be ideal. But forget about the flood. Valen gets spammed through the utility. I thought the door had been kicked down. But on the contrary, it's been slammed shut. Leviathan, what a massive swing. Leaf realizing he has so many targets, he has to deal with so many angles to consider. Now tagged by the dart. No real time to speak of. Yeah. And now a shock in his face. He tries to create a little bit of space, but he cannot. Mazzino's perched down. Yeah, Mazzino perched up above it. The cove instantly cleared. Wow. And that's a spike dropped. They're gonna have to deal with a pit of their own, though. How do they get past all the green? 10 seconds left. They haven't committed onto this yet. They haven't found enough breathing left. room. They haven't found enough space. They've got to navigate the pit. They've got to navigate the lockdown. And the clock is burned. But they managed to get it down. Numbers away of the defense with the lighter weaponry. Can they respond? That was a massive one. And King is detained. Can they no. find him? Shot. Can they hunt him down? Yes, they can. This again decides OT. Or we're headed to Abyss. Fallon holds the line. But Asbas tries to respond. He cannot. Barring a miracle from King, we're going the distance. We're going to be gifted with free Valorant. Can he pull this off? He has so much time to work with. He's biding his time. On the other end, G2 doubling up. Yeah, they realize that fear lies in the fact that they don't know where he is. Mm -hmm. There's really no utility that's given any info. Notice the spacing too. Trent kind of baiting Leaf in a way. Yeah. Worried that King might be in some weird off angle, some weird corner. Meanwhile, King can walk in to be unmolested. Mm -hmm. He breaks alarm bot and the first Molly, so G2 are aware now. But King can still play anywhere. He can, still he, biding his time. He can flip the map back. Ooh. Spotting one, and now position given away. A spit at their feet. 30 seconds left. Buys enough time to get the spike down. King looking for a little bit of safety, looking for a little bit of space. As the wall goes down, the first shot goes through a dink. But no kill found yet. Off the tap. King has to swing. And Trent's there to greet him. And now he's back in heaven. A, a, new, a new angle. But he can't connect. Oh, no. It's disaster for Calm. Not able to contain. Not able to be the safety valve that they needed in that instance. And so they're going to turn back towards B. 35 seconds left of the round. The pressure could not be greater. With that one way being up, Aspas is repositioning to yellow. He might be able to find this window of opportunity remember, as the exec is coming through. Remember, this was where he tried finding a kill at the very beginning of the round, and he wasn't able to do so. Can he succeed the second time around? I see into the swing. I see into the kill. It's high time. Tricky little thing, but Mazzino was able to find safe passage, able to get across, and he has to be dealt with here. You cannot forget him. Look at that wall. He's leaving got a pixel he can play off of. Leaving just the slivers. Icy's gonna fall as well. Fallon and Trent, only two left standing. Trent down to zero health. Fallon, can he be this good? On low time and a 1v4, there's no shot. All of the utilities lighting up the map. And all the mollies aren't here. 
They're a step behind the play, and Tex was way too far up. Now the spike planted the pit. Invested. Right here. And they don't, I mean, they don't have a drone. They don't, they don't really have anything to deal with this pit. At best, the shock dart comes back up off of a cooldown, but. Yeah, but even then, I mean. Yep. Valen, up close. Crosshair drained. Remaining. But Trent over the top to suppress the fire helps him out. King's left alone. Trent gets three. G2 again on map point. Leviathan have been so proactive in these moments in these post plants. That ult's gonna be brutal. The spam coming through the wall. One for one found. Both Killjoy sitting on the sideline for the rest of the round as numbers equalize. Back and forth. Tit for tat. The kill feed will not decide. Leafs left in a 1v2, now one. But he's so weak and calm was over the top. Oh, Nano's doing a bit of the same. They've scaled so far back into Swan. Dre, this is dangerous. What a shot from King. Right here. Trent responding, and they know that Mazzino's there. Look at the ping on the minimap. Yeah, but calm. They've got him figured out, but you're right. Calm over the top. Can he get there in time? No. A 3v3 is... Things slow down. Spam coming through, 2 HP left for Leaf. Will they flush him out of the spot? Leaf is so damn snappy. The timing go icy. Now a 2v2 Leaf. Again, 2 HP refusing to die. Last and it's gonna have standing. to fall onto him again against Aspas. The one way smoke, it's a jump spot. Aspas will clean him up. A 5v5 potentially for the map. This would be ridiculous. King is gonna be on this late flank. Keep a close eye on the mini map. Valen pushing forward, trying to forge his way through. Only one kill found though. And there's the flank, that could be the deadliest, that could be the most dangerous. It did get to half, but Leaf's got to do it by himself. And again, position given away. G2 cannot close the deal. Leviathan stands strong and they take Icebox. Now, keep in mind, he got shut out in that last game, just like Tex just gets shut down right here on this B push. I mean, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. That was all spam. Yeah, they try to get a little aggressive and fight on the other side of the wall, but just goes the way of the attack. And I'm such a fan of Viper on this map. I'm surprised more teams don't run it. Oh. Easy. Yeah, calm. You've been spotted. He's going to jump spot, get a little bit more info, but he has to back up now. But yeah, the Viper wall being able to go back and forth whenever you want. The map's so big. Having that up for rotations or even just putting doubt in the defensive mind it can be so crucial for this attacking composition that has, you know, Icy who could be at two places at once. Has Astro who could put a star anywhere. Oh, they spotted him. Spotted him. They should have spotted him, but only one was seen. And that's enough to make him flip the map. So 45 seconds left. G2 decide they don't like what they've seen A. They're going back B. And, and, and you could beat the rotation. They're already ahead of this. This Viper wall will come up. It'll give them a free B site. As long as King doesn't sneak all the way in the back of sight. 30 seconds left. Should be free for G2. Oh, he's gonna try. Forget about sneaking in. They just want to take the fight. But the wall didn't even go up. The timing on that. It just wasn't quite there. Keep a close eye on the middle of the map. You've got two players who are going for a late flank and leaf. I mean, a bullet between his eyes. Never stood a shot. I see in Jonah P. Left into what? A 2v4. A little bit messy there. Oh gosh, it's messy everywhere, isn't it? Masino has gotten three on the round. He's trying to tuck tail, he's trying to get away. I see no real idea where he is. What is, it? What is this? What is this ah. game of cat? What is this game of cat and mouse? Still trying to establish control on the site. Meanwhile, a great response from Com. Yeah, and that's an upgrade for him as well. He does a deep dart. He's able to get a rifle, and now if he wants to, he can apply pressure on the flank. Yeah. But time is of the essence. He's got to go. He's going Ice for it. Icy seems aware of the fact that there could be someone on the prowl, and he would be correct. Trent spotting an elbow. Again, this is all just buying time, but time really goes the way of G2 here. Calm is all the way behind. Here's Icy running around. He's going to get a free kill, baby. But again, the spike has been going on for so long. I mean, at best, what, they contain him here? Or they just frag him through. They're just going to mow him over. It's such a deep angle. Jonah P. 30 seconds left. With the silent walk up, he will take out Mazzino, so that is big. The cam is not seen! They're not aware of it! Oh, Tex almost makes a meal of it. It's only able to find one. Balance on the response, and now they can push their way back towards A. With the spike in hand again. The architect for G2 pushes forward. Balance dead. 
Ten seconds left. And they, hadn't, they weren't able to get the spike down. It's well out of reach. There's nobody who can scoop it up here. Can he get it down in time? It's going to be so close. One second left. Now a 2v2. The flash in his face. The op comes through for Ospas. Icy's left by himself. One man standing between him. Between G2 and Leviathan's fifth round. Can they flush him out? Comms dart is not up. He's got two shocks. I can't tell how soon it will be. Meanwhile, Aspas with the op. Trained on main. You best believe that's where the swing is coming from, but it's a rare miss. He's forcing Com to deal with it. And he's bought time. Switching weapons. 30 bullets now. Aspas on the tap. He's baiting him. He's tempting him into the swing. He's tempting him into the fight. And he holds the line. He calls the bluff. Red on this line. Flash goes through. Good night. Jonah P puts him to sleep, and now they've invested the pit, too. And you see the follow-up utility as well? The Astra suck right there. Just to secure it, Jonah P, the run and gun. Oh, Mizino using the Viper Wall against G2. <laughs> it's just chaos. Yeah, meeting his teammate, a little bit of a spray down amongst friends, but Valen, he gets taken out somehow. He's still in the pit. And you've got two over the top. They're still looking for him. He's They're dead. trying to find him, and they do. Now the wall goes up, and they fill in behind it. And now it's become a spam battle. And again, Trent really close here, uncomfortably close. But he does have a solid. Has to take a step back if he wants to invest it. Aspas has already got it to half. He had the no nano to cover. What a gorgeous layering of utility. Calm will fall. That will secure the round. At least I thought he was going to fully take the space, but he doesn't commit to it. I guess waiting for his teammates on the other side. King does have a paranoia. This is danger. There's a the paranoia. Great paranoia. It's only one for one, though. How much more can they find? Trent down low. Into the face of two up over the top. Gives up on the first, connects on the second. I see in Valen left alone to try to make a stand in this round to try to keep them back in the face of three. He has one flash. And there it is, invested. The spam coming through. Now he's on his own. Oh, he repositioned so beautifully, but Aspas knew exactly where he was. Getting away with murder. G2 have, have been successful up until this point before. They've gotten into post plane situations, but they lose the plot at this point. They've been here. They've got to find a way to find success here. Lockdown dealt with. Now they're going to have to deal with all of these deep walls. What's the second layer? Is there a second layer? It's off the tap. Two kills already found. And a cast. Yeah. And now they have the code. The code. They can play around. Mazzino's going to get spammed as he tried to get aggressive. But it still hasn't. I mean, it hasn't gotten half yet. Trent still has a shot at this. But how do you deal with the targets? How do you deal with Aspas? How do you deal with Calm? He's going to hear so much and be able to calm everything that's happening on the other side. King has to be careful. Waiting on the other side of the box. But they don't expect him. They don't know he's there. And again, King makes claim for the throne. And you know what? Calm goes unchecked, unnoticed now. Here. The contingency plan again. It falls apart. They've gotten the spike down, but this time Leaf might be able to equalize. Last player standing. What a filthy 3K. But again, Calm has to do it on his own. He's spotted Icy. He's going to try to flush him out. Switch to the classic. And Icy cleans him up. There's a flank out from King. There's a lot on Leaf here. He's got to expect it. He's got to know that he's here, but he hears him knife out. Again, Looking the trap. Can Icy hold the line? 35 HP now. He continues to get peppered. He continues to get tagged, but he continues to live. G2 now settling and slowing things down just a bit. It's just a tap, and they don't know Jonah P is there, but he's dealt with. He's cleaned up, disposed of. Now numbers the way of life as they're trying to push their way forward to the ninth round of the half. The Hunter Fury, and he has no idea where he is. Only one tag found. The second will go through, not connecting. Calm trying to at least get it to half. Fallon's not able to stun those shots. Finally connects, but now he's left alone. In a 1v2. Got to deliver against Ospas on the other side. The time is in his favor. The wide swing. Fallon gets to four. And so it's effectively just shut them out of the round, or shut them out of the sight. Concealment. Valen, be careful. Tex into the face, not able to connect. Leviathan again. The value that they're able to find here is ridiculous. G2 are not able to get any footing on the situation. A tap of the defuse, but that's all it is. As Jonah P meets his demise, he's been dealt with. As has G2. 
Another pistol, the way of Lev. The spike goes down, the paranoid through. It's not going to connect again. Leaf is in a really good spot as Tax pushes all the way forward. Oh, he's got the timing, Doug. If he continues to go, he's got it. He's going to get two. Oh, what a turn from Trent. Just narrowly avoiding that. So the one for one continues to go their way. The thing is, they've got, again, Leaf in a really good spot. But Aspas plucks him out of the window. As Trent gets another 2v2, they're both so weak, though, they cannot stand. You look at the different layers, you have an omen smoke and also a harbor wall to block off actual spawn. It's it's a free A site again. Calm, he gets spammed. It's a dead calm, you're right, but they've gotten the spike down. Ken Lev without a, a 3v5. Wave crashing. Again, G2 have to find a way to win here, or it's wraps. Jonah P needs to speed this up. But so King, far back. Yeah, King's gonna check him here. Osboss, the forefront. Oh, just barely. Ooh. Not spotting anyone. You're right. Jonah P, the slow burn. And it might pay off. There's nobody looking. He's gonna find his timing, isn't he? There he goes. Diffuse is coming through for IC as well. G2 will get to five. Can they keep the weapons though? That's the key. Any weapon loss hurts. What a snap. You see a dart. You see a harbor wall go up. Just now, Osboss will creep up forward. They're still really huddled up. They're all together. Misery loves company, and it's not going their way. Trent and Balan getting a couple, but he's by himself now. Leviathan, again. I, Le Leviathan's clear game plan is just use utility second. He's got the op in hand. Pushing forward a little bit, and they're just picking them apart. It's over. Ripping them to shreds. The knives continue to take lives as Trent is left alone. 55 HP, he's gonna find his one with two bullets left and two targets to be dealt with. He cannot. A map worthy of the number one seed.